Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV. I'm Jenny and I'm here with more Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, first, let me start off by saying I'm recording this on a Saturday during the day. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day out there. So if you hear any background noises because all the neighbours are out there cutting grass, the kids are playing. I live near a school that's having some sort of uh, sports tournament, I think. But sorry if there's any background noise. It's just if I don't get this done today, I'm not going to have time. Um, so Buffy. The last episode was a kind of a standalone one. Um, that was the like Beauty and the Beast one, which was a bit of a letdown for how this season's gone so far, because I've really enjoyed it so far. Um, other than the Angel story been continuing. Because um, we saw that he was, he knew her name so he's showing signs of remembering stuff and that he's still him. So, uh, yeah, I'm just frustrated that she's not telling Giles. Um, but yeah, maybe this is the episode where she does. Maybe she's had time to process. That's the only thing I can think of that makes any sense to me is that she's still processing that information before she tells someone else. Almost that kind of, I have to make sure this is real kind of thing um so this one is called homecoming which made me think homecoming is like a thing they have in america isn't it it's like a dance or something but what's it for because i know you have a prom and i thought a prom was like a leaving school at the end of like end of school thing that's what i thought anyway um that's what it's become here because it's kind of started happening here, I think. I don't know. Um, but yeah, homecoming, I, I don't know, is it at a start of year thing? Or a, I, I have no idea. Please put in the comments what that is. Um, for me in shows, homecoming usually means either like an end of year thing or a return. So I do wonder whether this is where it's revealed that Angel is back, and that's what this is. It's the return of Angel. Um, or I can't think of anyone else other than, or Spike. Oh, maybe Spike returning. I'd love that. But then would they call that homecoming? Hmm. Um, yeah, or it's like a, a, well, it can't be the end of year thing because they only just came back from the summer break. So, hmm. I'm just have to watch it and find out too many questions <laughs> please remember to like comment and subscribe and uh if you are interested obviously i have instagram which now we're coming out of lockdown in the uk i might be actually be able to post stuff on of doing stuff being places um i have facebook i have tiktok but again i need to do stuff to post um and discord if you would like to chat about buffy on discord Remember that Patreon is always two episodes ahead and I'm looking for extra Buffy stuff to watch on there. If you have any recommendations that are spoiler free for me, then please put them in the comments too. So grab your cuppa, grab your snacks and let's watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer season three, episode five, Homecoming. Why wouldn't you go? You already have your tickets. I mean, unless you don't have a date. Oh yeah, I forgot about him. Well, no, I just, I assumed that you would think it was corny or something, but I'm in. I have to admit, I can't deal with this guy. He's sweet and all, but he seems like too much of a pushover. Yes, ma'am. Can't deal with that. Okay, so he's wearing shirts as well now. Is she bringing him blood? Oh, come on, and, and Giles would. I'm a senior. I'm really working harder in school. I'm even thinking about college. And I'm involved with someone. Okay, she actually seen all the ways he's wrong for her now then. So I see where we're kind of going here. 
it's that kind of she's torn between what's good for her and what she thinks she should have and should be doing in Scott he's a good guy he's a nice guy he makes me happy and I do better at school and I'm going to go to college and all of that against her true feelings of the real love and emotion that she feels for Angel even if it's not ideal on paper it's what she feels and what she wants so I see that's what we're going for here I think she'll choose Angel ultimately because Scott can't make her truly happy because he's just a bit meh to be honest and I don't want to be mean to him like I say he's pretty he's a, a nice guy but he's just yeah he doesn't he doesn't bring out any strong emotions of anything you know no passion no um lust no love and not even anger just meh i don't think we should see each other anymore oh you know I'm okay so okay he's maybe i've just completely misjudged him but also buffy don't go change him if this is who you are now, that he needs to just accept that. Ooh. Who's the villain today? Oh, um, this guy. Oh, so we've finally seen the mayor that's working with Snyder. She's so cute. <laughs> the text when we got yeah, Faith can be your date. I don't know about that. Come on, Blanche got the studs. You use them for scarring. That's always fun. True. Okay, I'm in. Now it's senior year and I'm going to do one crappy picture on one eighth of one crappy picture. You didn't have a uh, picture no, taken. Really I'm talking about Buffy. You've awakened the prompt ring within. And that crown is going to be mine. Not being funny, Buffy, but you missing photos isn't Cordelia's fault. It's not her responsibility to make sure you are aware of these things and you're there. You're a, I was going to say grown adult, but come on. Oh, we've seen the cowboy guy before. This guy's got a good business mind. I suppose it's all going to go down at the homecoming dance then. I bet they assumed they'd go together. See, I kind of don't want anything romantic between them. Because I love the idea that they just have a friendship where they're just that comfortable with each other. Without it having to go there. <gasps> No. Oh dear. No, you both have other halves. Will they tell Buffy? Michelle, I don't see why your pathetic need to recapture your glory days gives you the right to splinter my vote. How can you think it's okay to talk to people like this? Do you have parents? Yeah, two of them, unlike some people. <gasps> Cordelia. That's just nasty. You better be going with Faith, girls' night. Oh. Oh, it's supposed to be Faith. I like the fact that he went and got a logo. I love Giles so much. Scott, there you are, honey. Hey, good news. The doctor said that the itching and the swelling in the brain should clear up, and we gotta keep using the point now. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I love Faith. She's the kind of friend every girl should have. Oh. The fact that he's there and that is probably his idea of hell. He's there for Buffy. Then I'm going to take out the rest of these guys just in time for you to congratulate me on my sweeping victorious I know what you're up to. You think if you get me mad enough, I won't be so scared. And hey, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Cordelia I know and love. You really, I don't even get why you care about homecoming when you're doing stuff like this. Because this is all I do. This is what my life is. Mm. She just wants some normal. Some of her old life. I feel like Cordelia, again, this is all she has. She thinks, Buffy, you're strong, you're a slayer. All I have is popularity and beauty. Ooh. Get your spatula. <laughs> They're smart. Oh, is that a wooden handle? Nice. Go Cordelia. Having got these three course on this. That's how they're tracking Go them. Oh, they're going to shoot each other. Smart. Me neither of them. Hey, I believe we have the first percent of Yale High. We have a tie. The winners are Holly Chalmers and Michelle Blake. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was an okay episode. Um, I liked the whole the development of Buffy and Cordelia in that one because, like I said, I think it's unfair to blame Cordelia. For you blame for you missing pictures, Buffy, because you know, like I said, you're 16 years old, so is she. It's not her responsibility to get you where you need to be, that's on you. Everybody else knew that that's on you. Um, and yeah, but then Cordelia she said some things that went way too far, especially to someone who's supposed to be your friend. Um, I think. In those moments, it was like her character had gone backwards because obviously when we met her, she was quite nasty. Whereas now the things she says that are hurtful aren't intended to be hurtful. It's almost like she's clueless sometimes to how it's coming across. Um, or the point she's making is a nice point, but the way she's forming it, the words she's using are not. Um, but yeah, there was like, especially the bit about her parents. That was nasty. Um, and Buffy, I feel like she was going through, again, we've seen her go through it before, but again, at her age, it makes sense to, that she's still there. This whole wanting a normal life and I'm not just the Slayer. Um, and trying to get back what she had before. Um, and I also point out, I think Cordelia sees it as Buffy is strong and a fighter and she's the slayer, you know, she's, that's special. And for Cordelia, what she has is her beauty and her popularity. And so in a way it was a bit of, 
I don't want you taking this. You've already got something. This is what I have. Um, yeah, so we knew that they'd come good in the end. Uh, and the friends were right. They had to just put them together and say, deal with this because we don't want to be in the middle of it. I quickly mentioned that I think Slayer Fest was a great idea. That guy's got a business head. Um, although I do feel like the the way it was done, the episode could have been better, more suspenseful and stuff. Um, but yeah, that was okay. Um, and of course we saw the mayor. So we're obviously going to get more information about this bigger picture of the mayor and the police chief and Snyder and who they are and what they're actually up to. But yes, back to the big thing on the episode being um, Willow and Zander. Now, obviously we knew about Willow's feelings from day one. Um, but like I said, I'd hoped that it was just going to be a friendship because I just, I like the fact that they're so comfortable with each other and that it doesn't always have to be a romantic relationship between a boy and a girl. It can just be a genuine friendship. Um, but they've gone there. At least you can say they've taken the time to develop it bit by bit. Um, and yeah, I don't like the fact that it's happening when they have Oz and Cordelia, um, but it adds to the drama. I, I get why they're doing it. So I'm interested to see how that develops. If it happens again, if they confess, yeah, and of course I love seeing Giles. Every time Giles uh, is being funny, I love that. <laughs> um, and I loved how he was at that dance, even though, like I said, that must be his idea of hell, a high school dance. Uh, but he was there to support Buffy, so yeah. And I hope that he's been checked by a doctor because how many times has that guy had a head injury? It's like all the time. He needs to get properly checked out. We only saw a little bit of Angel in this one and Buffy explaining why she's not telling them but again I don't agree with that. I think Giles is the person to tell. He would, not only he's the person who could help you with understanding this and helping Angel but we already know that he, even after what happened to Jenny, he has, you know, still supported keeping Angel alive, as long as he's Angel not Angelus, so. But that was Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 3, Episode 5, Homecoming. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.